Now, while we're talking about gases and liquids, I'll bet many of you have at home a garden hose. Do a lot of you have such a thing? That's right. Here's something you can do that will really annoy your parents. Don't tell, <laughs> don't tell them I said this. But go out sometime and turn on the garden hose full blast without holding on to the end of it. What happens? Has any of you ever done that? That's right. You're saying it with your arms. It goes round and round in a crazy fashion, right? There's actually a name for that. Bet you didn't know that. It's called the fire hose instability. Can you guess why it's called that? That's right, because firemen have to be very aware of this, because with their big hoses and the big fire hydrants, if you were to ever turn on a fire hydrant full blast with no one holding the end of the hose, it could flail around and, and actually injure someone very severely. So the fire hose instability is a very important example of chaos. And it just so happens that we have a fire hose. Well, not quite. It's really an air hose, like you would pump up the tire in your bicycle or your car. But it does exactly the same thing. It doesn't matter whether we use air or water. When the air comes out the end, it goes around in a very complicated manner. It's deterministic, it's predictable, but it is very erratic. And so the fire hose instability is an example of chaos.